Hey everybody, Tracy White again, or on the forums, I am T. Earl, or Turl, however you choose to pronounce it. Um, this is the main level or base level in my game. Uh, not a playable maze, uh, but you can see a couple of the assets in there, uh, floor, wall, end tile. And uh, like I said in the intro, I wanted to keep my assets very simple. So let's take a look at the assets. There is a floor tile. Um, this is a uh, high contrast that I talked about with the, the black um, and uh, glowy edge to it. And that's uh, MSO applied to it, the black you can see over here, and an animated glowy material. The floor tile is a little more complicated, but it uses the same two materials, the black and the glowy um, animated material. My buttons are, come in two parts. They're put together in a blueprint later on and I'll show you that. And again, two materials. Uh, this one ha has a white on it and that same glowy material. And the button itself um, has a blue material and the same glowy material. You see where I'm going with this glowy material thing? There are three gate types, the double gate, with two materials on it. And guess which one is the second material. Same with the single gate, which is kind of the default gate, and the L-shaped gate. With those three gate types, you can create a bunch of different level uh, iterations uh, that we'll talk about that in the gameplay later on. So I created my assets in 3ds Max, and um, I'm not going to it's not a modeling tutorial, but I do want to talk about some considerations that were made while modeling. First of all, like I said, they're 500 units by 500 units. Now my max units are set uh, in as one centimeter is one unit. Um, that uh, translates very well to UE4. And in UE4, since I can snap to 500 meter, uh, 500 units, it makes building levels extremely easy. One thing I did uh, is I unwrapped this. Uh, this is the end tile, obviously, and it's got, uh, you know, two materials on it. Uh, it's hard to tell in the viewport here, but uh, basically if you look at my unwrap, you can see on my second material ID, I have the arrows in this column of my glow map. And we'll look at the glow map later on in UE4. Four columns on this map, one solid, uh, wide uh, striped, uh, tight striped, and then this what I call the slow gradient. And so I assigned the arrow looking parts of my floor tile to, to this portion of my map and then some edge pieces uh, to the slow gradient portion of the map. And these are the edges here that go on the slow gradient and of course the arrows on the uh, wide gradient and it gives you this nice uh, this is where I need to go looking tile. Alright, uh, I want to show you a little of the gameplay and what this stuff looks like in game. Sorry for the skipping. I'll just show you level 3, which uses green, um, and shows you a little bit about the uh, logic behind the, the gameplay. Simple maze, except I can't get my player ball to the end tile because this gate is in the way. Well, what I need to do is uh, roll my little ball around to hit the button to open the gate to get out. It's an on overlap event that fires the gate and we'll get into blueprints in a blueprint tutorial, but this one's just about the assets. So that's kind of how it all fits together in a level. I'll just go ahead and quit that. All right, in Max, what I did was I uh, gathered all of my, and um, here's all of my, uh, assets here, the wall, there's the three gate types on top of each other, there's the button pieces, a floor tile, and the floor end tile, and they're all gathered together um, 
to make them easier to, to snap when, whenever I get them into the game. My export settings uh, I just have smoothing groups, tangents and binormals, triangulate. Nothing's animated so I'm not worried about baking out any animations. I always get that turned edges warning uh, doesn't seem to hurt anything whenever I import. All right, when I import these assets, and um, they're already all imported, but we're going to um, import them again just to show you. Since I exported as one FBX, I've got several objects in one FBX. What I want to make sure is that um, I, I don't need to import them as skeletal mesh because nothing's animated, nothing's linked together. And the other thing I want to make sure is that combined meshes is turned off. And then the last consideration I have on my import is import materials and textures. Since I have them assigned and it does export out with the FBX, I want to make sure that uh, I don't want to mud up my UE4 file structure. So I do not import uh, materials and textures. Um, so I would just import and it uh, creates all of my assets. Um, and you can see I've got doubled up assets because I've done this uh, a couple of times. Basically these are the assets um, that I just exported and have imported into UE4. And that's how you get your assets in. In the next tutorial I'll talk about how I put these together into blueprints and a little bit about the materials uh, and how they're applied. Thanks for watching.